Yes. What is um principles of bow and see buoyancy, right, uh, Priya ma'am? Buoyancy. Buoyancy. Okay. Sorry. Both are fine. Okay. Buoyancy and propulsion. Any idea what is buoyancy or propulsion? Yes, Mukul. Uh, desi designing, building, and testing a paddle boat. Hey, Mukul, ma'am didn't ask you to read. She asked me, you know, what is buoyancy? Yes, sir. Right. Oh. Um, it's like, uh, I think it was, I'm not sure if it's right, but I think it was how much it sinks. Oh, no, how much it dissolves. No, without solubility. That is solubility. That's yeah. what I How said. much it floats. How much it floats. Okay. Uh, in water. Uh, it's half it's correct. The paddle boat is the same exact thing. Half correct. Okay. So let's Better. learn what is buoyancy. Let's read a small story related to this. Yes. Mukund, you're raising your hand, but I want Pranav to read. Okay. Once upon a time, there was a little submarine named Sammy. Sammy loved to explore the ocean, but he needed help to move and float. His friends, the fish, told him about two special helpers called um, Bound and Sea and Biancy. Biancy and Propulsion. Very good. Who made these signs names so hard to pronounce? You. <laughs> God, teacher, God. Why did God make them so hard to pronounce? Like, what did we ever do to him? No, listen, right there, most of these names are... The Chinese people found there the monster. In the oh, okay, I told you to be respectful to each other. Priya ma'am is saying something. Please listen to her. Then most of the main scientific terms are from Greek and Latin. Okay. Why do Greek and Latin have to be so hard to pronounce? Because those were the people. I was just gonna say Greek and Latin. And if it was someone, if an Indian found it, it'll be similar to Indian Indian names. Indian so name. Foreign people will find it difficult. So Sandy, read, darling. Okay. Buoyancy is like a magic force that helps Sammy float on the water. You see, the water is much denser than Sammy, so the water pushes up on him and helps him float. But sometimes Sammy would want to go deeper in the ocean, so he would have to make himself heavier by filling special tanks with water. And that way, he could sink deeper and explore more. Okay, have you ever seen uh, this kind of ball, like beach ball? And uh, you ball? see it will float. Yes, Sanvi? This won't go Thank underwater. You. Even though if you stand on it. Shana, it are you Sanvi? No. So I asked Sanvi, na? Who's Sanvi? Yes. So, um, I've seen a beach ball before, and we've. So whenever I see it, a beach ball, and like, it's like some people play catch, and if the ball doesn't make it, it still floats in the water. Yes. So if you want to uh, uh, put it inside the water, it yeah. will, uh, how you will do it? You will not be able to do it. Deflate it, and then it Why? Will... No, no, this is the idea. This is how you do it. You have to stand on it or you have to push it down. Yes, Pranav. Okay, yes. can I tell of some other <laughs> float? You can do only one thing that will float in water that will sink in water. We'll start. Uh, like some, some, uh, if it was, I'm not sure about beach balls, but if it was a balloon, you could untie the knot, fill it with a bunch of water, and then retie the knot. Then maybe it would be heavier and it would float. But you need a lot of water for it to not float. I have an idea. A yeah. basketball, a soccer ball, a football. 
So all these will float or sink? Float. Uh, Mukund, you're stuck. Mother? Shrishti, do you think it will sink or float? Um, I think everything Mukund said will probably sink. Because the basket falls. So here's a question for you. In a bucket of water, will the football sink or float? Float? Why? Well, if it, maybe it will, if it was less water, it, it could probably float for like a few seconds. And if it was more water, it could, it could sink pretty quickly. Okay, Sandy, do you agree? Yes. Okay. Thank you. Do you think, Mukund, this is for you. Mukund, now you can speak. Do you think the basketball will float in an ocean or sink? Uh, in an ocean or a sea? Or float. 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 Why? Because they have balance force, whatever that is called. Okay. What is bioenergy force, Prana? Prana, what's bioenergy force? It's now, weight. No, are you are you Prana? Mukund, I asked Prana. Everyone is getting a turn. Prana, wait. You can speak now. Okay. Wait. Wait. Chaitra is speaking, right? Uh, what did he said that uh it had a stronger buoyant force, right? I asked him what is bioenergy force. He said it's weight. Do you think he's? Uh, no, it's not weight. So what's buoyancy? Um, buoyancy force is kind of like um, how much if it's lighter than the water or not kind of. So if it's lighter than the water, like a basketball is filled with the air. So in an ocean, it would probably float. I don't know. Depends on the basketball. But the, if uh, basketball is really heavy and you have only half bucket of water, not ocean, Okay, then it will float or sink? Sink, obviously. So, um, the more Why? water you... Um, so, since there's less water, the basketball becomes heavier than the water and sinks to the ground. It's kind of like if you try to hold... Correct. Um, if you so, try to hold the car, it would just collapse back onto you. Exactly. So you all understand. So water have its own force. It will uh, throw the things up. So have you all you guys know how to swim? Yeah, kind of. Okay. So what happened when you just uh, <coughs> lie down in water like this? You float. You will float, right? Yeah. Why? So it it seems like someone is pulling you up. Mukund, can you please stop playing with the backgrounds and listen to what Nari? Yes. Thank you. Yes, Shitra. Um, because when you're lying like that, um, it's like you're lighter than the water. Like usually, if you do that in swimming, it will be like that. But if you do it in a bathtub, it probably wouldn't work. Yes. So there should be a water should be quite dense, <coughs> more dense than your body weight. Yeah. To make it float. Clear? There should also be like salt in the water. Adding salt can help to make water dense? Mm, no. No. It will dissolve. So it won't really make a difference in bio -answer. Okay. 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 Uh, Shishti, do you want to read the next one? Oh, Mukun, did you get a turn? <sighs> I didn't get a turn. <laughs> Didn't get a turn. Okay, Mukund, please. Okay. Um, population. Ma'am, you are co-host already. Okay. Yeah. Population is like Propul another. Mukund, propulsion. Propulsion is like another magic force that helps Sammy move forward. Sammy has special engines to push water behind him, and that makes him go forward. But sometimes he wants to go up or down, so he can so he can change the direction of his engines and point them up or down, and that way he can go. Sixty continue. Sixty continue. Okay. 
That way he can go up or down. With these two magic helpers, buoyancy and propulsion, Sammy could float and move around the ocean and explore all the amazing things it has to offer. And that's how Sammy became the bravest and most curious submarine in the world. Okay. So Sammy became the most bravest and the most curious submarine in the ocean. So uh, do you understand what is propulsion in this story? Yes. Chetra is giving me thumbs up. Shashti is also. Yes, Sanvi. Would you like to explain it to Mukund and Pranav? I mean, this is what I think it is. Yes. Maybe it's like propulsion like is like kind of like it helps like, you know, move the um the the vehicle or you um or the beach ball um forward up or down like that how they explained correct so it's not only with the boats or submarine even a rocket use a propulsion when you fire it what will happen it will go up right mm -hmm. one force is there that is putting it forward that is called propulsion clear chitra you want to add something yes so propulsion is like um so you're pushing water behind you, like when you're swimming, so you can go forward. Yes. So, so you Japan, all know how to swim, na? So what you will do, you will put water behind. So if you want to go down, you have to uh, push water up, right? Correct. Mukun Pranav, is it clear to you guys? Any doubt? Yes, Ami says, okay. Mukund and Pranav, if you guys understood, can you show a thumbs up, please? Any doubts, ask now because we have a very interesting project to do based on all this. Okay? Okay. You have to build a boat. Yes. So here comes one quiz. First, I'll stop sharing. Okay. And um, send it in the chat. Yes, I'm sending it in a chat. Quizzes. Let's see who's going to finish it first. <coughs> not me. Me! Because I'm the goat! I'm oh, not. Let's see. I'm not a fast finisher. Yes, guys, you can start. I'm the goat. I'm the goat. No more talking. Let's Focus on your quiz. Stupid goat. I'm the goat. This is a dweller, ma'am. Do we press start a live quiz or something? I'm I'm starting it. Wait. Mukun, no using bad words. Please apologize to Chaitra. Okay? Say sorry. You're on mute, Mukun. So uh, I'll give you one or I'll share my screen. That will be better. You didn't say What's the code? code? I'm giving a code. Wait. So this is the code. Can you okay. see my screen? Yep. Yeah. This what is do the we code. Do? Come on. Can you show? Do we press enter code on the top of this? Wait. Um. What so is the code? click on the link, and there here there you will get a code on the left side. You need to enter the code to join the link. You need to enter the code that is given in the screen. Okay. Yeah. Two eight three four nine one. Uh, but what do I, what do I press on this? I've started the quiz. Oh, we didn't even type it. No issues. Take your time. I'm looking who has joined. Like, how do we get okay, the code? Shishti is already here. I don't even know the code. Okay, Mukun, what's the issue? Code is 283491. It is right there. Well, ma'am. Yes. I have a question. Yes. Um, I don't know. So, what do I press? Because I don't know where to put the code or. Uh, where to put the code, guys? Anyone want to help her? You who have already started, Shristi. Where to put a code, dear? Okay, I'm sharing screen. Ujula, ma'am, I'm just uh, old. Okay. 
Oh, What's the code again? I joined again? the code. Wait, I joined the code, but now it just showed me a test. Okay. I just code is two eight three four nine one. I'm typing it in a chat. Okay. Two eight three four nine one. That's not that. Eight three four. Sunny, did you get it, darling? There's an enter code here. Just click it and enter the code that man has sent to me. Yeah. Two eight three four nine one. I did that stuff and it's showing me. It's showing you what? Did you enter the code properly? Showing me. It's showing me a test. Yes, that's yes, it. Yes, that's the test. Uh, would you like <laughs> chicken? My name is Chicken. Okay. Wait, I still have. Yes, haven't... Priya, ma'am. What what are you saying? Yes, Sanvi. I can't get in still. I don't know what to do. Uh, whatever answer you feel is correct, just click on that. Uh, no, she's not able to log in, it seems. Oh. Uh, Shanvi, I have shared one link. Go to that link, dear. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. There you will get an option to enter a code. Uh, no, I'm lost. I don't uh, Sanvi, in the left hand side, I showed you right on the topmost, sorry, right hand side, topmost corner, there's get a code. Get a code. Just keep that. Sanvi, uh, share your screen, dear. Okay, enter code. I found yeah. it. You found it? Yeah. Cool. So, do I enter my name now? Oh, you just sent it. Okay. Um, when, how many questions are there? Oh, yeah, 17. Uh, I said, let us just keep doing till you complete it. Okay. Hey, Sanvi's here. <laughs> Who is chicken? It's Mukul. Ma'am, is there a timer to the test? Uh, no, no timer. But uh, they can do it quickly. It's uh, MCQs. And I want to give full time to Sanvi also. Yes. So there is no time limit, Sanvi. Take your time, read it, read all the questions properly and answer it, okay? So there's 17 questions. Yeah. Right. I don't remember exactly. Okay. <laughs> Is it tough? Not really. Okay. Chicken, you need to run fast, chicken. <laughs> okay, Sushti and Sushti is almost going to finish. I can see the questions here. So which of the following material will sink? Oh, uh, no, keep it in that thing uh, itself, ma'am. So okay, that, letter board. Yes, letter board. So that uh, we are motivated to do, do it first. Okay, Sushti, you've completed. Good job. And what has Pranav named this himself? Chetra already. Yeah. Chetra also completed. One more question. Oh. Prickle. What's prickle pranav?
Okay, Pranav and Mukund are in the same question, I think. Okay, I'm done with the quiz. Yeah, please stop. You're just waiting for another five minutes for your cousins and friends to finish. Pranav Mukund is. <laughs> Pranav, you have one more question? Oh, it's also done. Pranav Dhan, Dhan Shishti, Sanvi only left. Was it difficult? No, no. Are we done? I got some place. Let's go. Wait. McClendon, you got third place. McClendon, you're mute. Run away, you shouting. McClendon, you're mute. Place mute. Mm -hmm. I beat my brother. Then we got last with 7,000, then Trishti 7,000, McClendon 8,000, me 10,000, and. I'm oh. unmuted. I just. Un yeah. I'm oh, oh Sanvi. Yeah. Pickle just a little bit. <coughs> Sanvi is in third place now. Cool. Look on your oh, fourth. Sanvi! <laughs> Sanvi didn't complete. Why? Okay. Okay. Uh, At least completed. Great. <laughs> so, Chitra first. Pronounce again. And I want to first, and I get it wrong. <laughs> can we play again? You want to play again? No, 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 no. Uh, can do you guys want to discuss the answers with ma'am? Can you give no. the next class or for homework? What? Can you give the same thing next class or for homework? Oh, and like quizzes? Yeah. Okay, sure. We will keep more quizzes and Kahoot yes! for next classes, okay? I like Kahoot. You like Kahoot? Okay, mm -hmm. uh -huh. sure. okay let's come back to slides because we have so much to do today, okay? One minute, uh, ma'am. Chaitra, yes. I heard some little girl saying she's going to be the last because she's slow. I wonder what's happening. Oh, so let's Chitra! see. I'll, I'll share my screen. What? You you just got roasted by yourself. You roasted yourself. Oops. What? You roasted yourself. How did I roast myself? Because you said you're yeah, gonna you get last place, yourself. but you got four, first place. So yeah. Man, actually, uh, Pranav and Chaitra have gotten the same uh, number of questions right. Yeah, but, but, uh, but got more 13 points. and 13. Yeah, I use more power ups. And, uh, and uh, you could use and power ups. Cool and Chitra ups. Yeah, I got so many power ups. Power -ups. And you and could use power ups. And Srishti, uh, Srishti, Mukun, Shanvi all got 13. And uh, Pranav and Chitra got 15. So I used a lot of power ups. Okay. But you want to see which answers went wrong? Yeah. 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 Okay. Let's see. Pranav and Chaitra got the same answers wrong. So you are saying which of the following material will sink? So I didn't know what cork was. Cork is like a uh, in uh, some bottles we will use cork. It is made of wooden no. rubber. Oh, you rubber know, cork. I would have got a better score than Chaitu, but I accidentally clicked the wrong answer. Anyways, I would have gotten more points than you, so it doesn't matter. Okay, okay, guys. Oh, it doesn't listen, matter. listen, listen. And what was the uh, yes. So will a lemon <laughs> float or sink? So uh Chaitra, you think it's sink? Yeah. I no, uh, lemon will float, uh, dear. Just Try it. 
uh, in your home because it is uh, filled with juice and it's not very dense. Okay, so if oh. you put it in a water, it will float. Yeah, and rest all the answers went well. Good job. Okay, Prakul. Pranav. What? Oh, sorry, Pranav. <laughs> sorry. Okay, so Pranav, you think that these rocks will float or sink? Float? Yep. Pranav. Pranav, you simply okay. put that answer, didn't you? On purpose. See? Yeah. You're smiling. Again, okay, you also think that lemon will sink. No, dear, lemon will float. But you guys don't trust me. Go and check yourself, okay? After the class. After. <laughs> yes. Okay, uh, now, Sanvi. So, which of the following material will sink? Your response was paper they clip. Both, they both are really less dense. So, like, Coin no. will definitely sink, dear. Yeah, it's okay. made out of really strong metal. Dense, dense material, okay. And uh, you, you think that these uh, swimming boat uh, will oh, sink? Okay, Sean, did yeah. you see the baby use that? It will definitely float. All right. <laughs> Why is it an Elsa? So object a... like wood and sponge float, float because they are more yeah. dense <laughs> Sandy, if it is more dense it will not float it will sink okay object no, no, floats because they have less density thank you clear clear and we got dense because everyone finished oh no issues so, i also got the lemon one okay. wrong Okay, everyone got this. What will happen to an object that is more dense than the water? It will float. So, Mukul, you understood that uh, it will not float, it will sink? Mm -hmm. Correct? Okay. Uh, these rocks will float or sink? You think rocks will float? Yeah. You still think rocks will float? Mm -hmm. Will you show it to me in next class? No. Floating rocks? Put rocks in the ocean. <laughs> okay. Now, in this image, what causes an object to sink in water? If the object density is less than the water's density. So if it is less, it will not sink, it will float clear if object density is greater than water density then it will sink clear mm -hmm. am i making sense mm -hmm. okay <coughs> now shushti yeah oh shushti marble 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 will they float Sink. They have good density, right? They will not float. They have like good weight and density. They will not float, dear. They will sink. Okay. Now, again, the same uh, answer question. You understand? I've just explained it. Yeah, I understood. I think I accidentally clicked the wrong one. Oh, okay, okay. And answer. yeah, paper clip float or sink. It will, I had no idea. About if you put that it lit, uh, slowly on a water, it will float. Okay. Mm -hmm. So technically, it's both. Uh, yeah, mostly it will float only because it's very lightweight. Okay. Then how come the correct answer is sink? Okay. If you open it like a little bit, put it slowly, it will float. But if you uh, suddenly dip it, it will sink. Try it. Oh, so it's like a coin. Correct. Try it, okay? Except opposite. If you if you just put it down really nicely, like in the swimming pool, then it will sink. But if you just throw it out of the no out of nowhere, it'll take its time to uh, to sink to the bottom. Remember the rocks one that I um we said it would float. I mean sink, but it was actually gonna float. 
No, the rocks are heavier than water. Okay. So yeah. always speak. Okay, let's let's continue the lesson and see what other things ma'am has kept for us. Okay. Yeah. But it's eight ten thirty-five. Don't worry. It's not eight thirty-five. Okay, maybe it's, it's ten thirty-five. Okay, it's nine o'clock. Yeah. Class has been for one and a half hour. Okay. We started at. Saitra, read. Uh, Saitra didn't get a chance to read, right? Yeah, yes. Repelling through water resistance. Have you ever tried to run in a swimming pool, ocean, or lake? You can't move nearly as fast as you can on the beach or the grass. It seems like you're moving in slow motion. You've encountered water resistance. Water resistance is a force that competes against motion. It is similar to air resistance, but much stronger. Air is much lighter and thinner than water. When you push through air, it moves aside much more quickly than water does. Have you ever dropped water goggles in deep water? They fall much more slowly and they would fail from the same distance through air. The force of buoyancy pushes up an object in the water, but if the object is heavy for its size, gravity wins and the object slowly sinks. Okay. All of you understood? Yeah. Any doubt? So it's so it's like um have you dropped pretty easy once you get to know it. <laughs> and Mukund, stop, Mukund, please stop playing with your screen. Okay. Okay, this is similar to what we just read. Uh, Ma'am, next slide, Ma'am. Yeah. So, who, on, who is going to read now? Yes, Sami. So, how can we propel or move something through water? Isaac Newton, a scientist from the 1600s, helped us with that. Newton described how forces move and stop objects and change the way objects move. He noticed that when you push or pull something and make it move, it will react by moving with the same amount of force the opposite way. For example, if you push a basketball toward the ground, the basketball will move away from your hand. When it hits the ground, it bounces back up in the air. Swimmers push water from in front of them to back behind them, which propels the water back and the swimmer forward. Good job. Yes. Good job. So, so basically, it's like playing dirty in a race. Like if you're really behind someone, but you're like right behind them, you're like, oh, I'm going to push you back and go forward so I win the race. Okay. Yes. So all of you understood the concept? Yeah. Mukund Pranav, give me thumbs up if you have understood Sanvi. Is there any doubt, dear? Sanvi? No. Okay, great. So same, see, uh, look into this design. So boat often use pedals to move forward, right? Have you ever used a boat which have a pedal? No. So what you're actually doing, or maybe this raw, have you rowed the boat? Oh, the oars. Okay. Or maybe you have seen it. So what you're doing is you're pushing the water behind to move yourself forward. Okay. So this is the way the pedal boats will work. A paddle boat sounds like instead of using oars, you're using your hands to like paddle like this. Yes. So here the challenge. Guys, now this is going to be really interesting. You need to design a pedal boat that moves forward in water. You need to make your own pedal boat, a small model of a pedal boat, boat okay? So you need to come up with the idea that how your pedal boat will move forward. First, you need to How think, will we make it move forward? That's what you need to think. 
You can use well, I anything. can't think of anything like that. It's too hard. Can we use no, ors? Can, what, we, Chitra? can okay. we use ors? Okay, Mukun. Mukun, uh, stop it. No, not on this. Okay, non disable on it. Can we use ors? We are ors. Requirements for you that you have to follow. Okay? I didn't get you. Yeah. Yeah. Chetra, what, what, what was your question there? Uh, can we use ORS? ORS? What, what is, ORS. It's ORS. the rowing boat things, uh, the things you use to row. Okay, but how you're going to use it in a model boat to move it forward? Modern boat? I don't get what Model, you model. Your boat model. You're preparing one small boat. How you will make uh, it move forward? Uh, Ma'am, can you just put the full slide so that they can read the materials? And... Yes, I'm going to do that. So, okay, uh, this is annotated. Is this homework? No, we are doing it right now. So, see, your no. pedal first. You can need we to please design... do that homework? Listen, listen. Okay, you need to design a pedal boat that move forward in water then the boat will move across the water at least one foot okay your boat should move at least one foot then your uh, challenges will be complete and you need to do okay look at some of the pictures of pedal boat notice how boats are constructed and think how science technology engineering and maths are used to create pedal boat so you need to do some research on pedal boats that how they work then come up with your own idea to make a small pedal boat now here's a task draw one or more design ideas for a pedal boat there are many different ways to complete this challenge so be creative i'm going to open a whiteboard and i want you guys to design your pedal boat whiteboard i thought we had to do a model yeah we will do model but before making a model we need to design a model right we need to make a design i don't need a design i already have an idea can i just please do it you have an idea just first draw it for me no it's tin foil can we yeah. tin foil what can we use aluminum foil. foil yes you can use aluminum foil um, can i please um, do it now you... i don't need to design anything um, and okay. you you can also see i have an idea have you seen balloon it will go up right so can if you, you attach your ocean? balloon uh, a balloon with uh, your boat and uh, like full balloon and just remove it the air will come out and it will push the boat to move forward. Can you enable annotation? Yeah, sure. But please be mindful, guys. Yes, Sunny. Yes, Sunny. Yes, Sunny. Please go to the bathroom. Sunny. Uh, may I please go to the bathroom? Yes, please. Thank you. Yes, guys, I want you to design your boat now. Uh, Ma'am, can you just divide it so that uh, they each have space? Oh, yeah, that will be nice. Requesting to remote control your screen. Okay, right. I, mean, I can't annotate. I can't annotate. I can't give you access to control my screen. Okay, you don't have to annotate. Do you have a pencil and paper with you? Draw it. Yeah. Yeah, use your pencil and paper and draw it. Oh. Okay. Uh, yeah. uh, why I'm not able to draw it, a line, I'll, I'll do that. No, that's fine. Oh, oh, you're deleting their drawings also, it's fine. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, guys. So, uh, divided it into four, Pranav, since Pranav can, is drawing on the paper. Okay, guys, stay in your space. Just okay. and then start. Yes, Chetra. Good. Uh, Sunny, you can take one of the squares and start designing. 
This thing? Oh, okay. So I can either so I'm also doing it on paper. Oh, okay. You're doing it on paper? Okay. Uh, Sandy, can you annotate on screen? Yeah, I am. So, is this a submarine? Yep. <laughs> no, it's a tinfoil boat. But Mukun, why a submarine is crossing his its limit? I thought it was a flying boat. <laughs> no, put it back. Can it be a flying boat? I'm still doing it. But how it is going to propulsion? Oh my God. You need to think about two things. One is buoyancy, that your boat should float, not sink. And second thing is propulsion, that it's, it, it should move forward. Can I write it instead of drawing it? Uh, we will be okay. writing it also, Chaitra. Who is drawing on the left, uh, sorry, right top corner? Me. I need more space. Okay. So I'm making two. Yula, ma'am. Yes. You, uh, share the screen and show them the materials that they can use. So that yes. Do the... So I'm stopping whiteboard right now. Guys, here are the materials that you can use, okay? So these materials will help you plan better. How you can design your whiteboard? Oh, sorry, your panel board. Okay. I'm doing the um yellow one. No, one minute wait. Uh, Bam is showing you the list of stuff that you can use. So use these. Uh, Ma'am, do you want me to share? Yeah, I know. No, I, I already built my. Build Best your boat. <laughs> See, these are some of the things that you can use. Okay, empty milk or juice carton, rectangular magazine, containers, rubber bands, hole punchers, cement, towels, tong dispensers, plastic or metal spoons, rubber, cement. Just think which item you want you to do, pick. How do you use an empty milk? How do you use an empty milk? You can add your own juice. material also. This is just a suggestion. You can use popsicles also. Okay. The ice cream sticks, okay? I'm the next slide, please. Wait, can you use can you use spin to like move it? Okay. What? Wait, ma'am is showing you something. See, first thing is you have to think about the materials that are available to you. Then you think about how you can use those materials to create a paddle board. Okay? Then only we are going to show them if it is not proven how to make it better. Okay, this is how the designing is done. First, decide on your material, which material you guys are going to use. Yeah, you can take a screenshot. Well. If you want, you can take a screenshot. And yes. now I'm going to open the whiteboard back for you so you can continue designing. Uh, can you open the whiteboard already? And we use string to pull it one foot. Look, uh, Pranav, you, do you think we are hard of hearing, Pranav? That you have to L out everything? How is that being respectful? Can you please talk softly? Can we use string to pull it? Yes, you the can. Boat one Yes, you can. Okay. Okay. So first plan it, uh, then create it. Then you need to test it by placing your pedal boat in a water. Okay. And does That's it move right. forward and check whether it move forward? Does it stay upright? Okay. Then if you find that, okay, something is missing, then evaluate and revise. Then make it again. Try to make it again. Uh, the can, can I start making it? You have material with you. 
I don't have any material at home. Okay, so uh, I can show you some sample Can videos. I don't make it? Guys, don't annotate. Pranav, Pranav, where's your design? You have to show us the design before you make it. Uh, Ujula, ma'am, can you just... Yes. Yes. To come, uh, Chaitra Mukund and Shanvi to complete their boots. I'm done. I know boat. how to do that. I, I know my boat, but I, I still need to draw it. Okay, when you draw it only, you'll be able to design it properly. Right? Yeah, but I just need to make it. Okay, you can continue here. <laughs> Mukund, do can you enable annotation? Yeah, I actually stopped it because, yeah. Mukund, do one design, please. Remove one and do a design. You have to be able to make this design, okay? Come on, guys, you just have five minutes to go to show us the designs. Why does mine keep getting erased? I'm done with my design. Okay, just give your classmates Four minutes to finish there. Okay, it, it's not coming on the screen, so I'll just do it in my notebook. Okay. All right, I'm done. So I might as well just start. No, you're going, all of you are going to show us the designing now, and you're going to take the paddle boat as a homework and show it to us in the next class. Okay. okay. And remember, guys, you have to have a piece of paper and write down what happened when you first put the paddle boat in water. Okay? Did it sling? Did it float? Did it move? And if it moved, how far did it move? And repeat it again. Like if you're not satisfied, like with how far it moved, you have to do it again. Okay? And write down your observations and present it to the class in the form of a report, okay? You guys are going to do a report. As soon as we start next class, we are going to have all of you show your paddle boards and take us through the process of how you created the paddle board. And how- I don't have any of the materials. But you will definitely be having uh, small, small cardboard boxes or other things. I'm sure your mom will be very happy to get them for you. Yeah, but I don't have any propeller. Okay, uh, what uh, Anu has told me that I can show them one video just to give an idea. Okay, just to have an idea, I'm showing it. Yes, ma'am. I don't have anything for propulsion, though. Uh, ma'am. Am I, you guys are able to see or not? No. no. Thing out of lollipop sticks or popsicle yeah. sticks as you may call them. Yeah, I Start don't have by these. taking a stick, measure it, and use a knife to cut it in half. If it's too hard to cut all the way through, you can score it and it should snap on the line. Next, take another couple of sticks and put the pieces you just cut in between, like this. We're going to fix these together by cutting some more sticks to the right length. And I'm using a glue gun to add the adhesive. I'm putting four strips of wood across the front like this. Then a couple more at the back here. I'm also adding a couple of short pieces here and here, leaving a small gap in the middle and repeating this on the other side.
It's not at all critical, but the gap in my boat measures about 3.7 centimetres by 2 centimetres wide. Next, I'm taking another stick, which I'm going to fix on about here, but first we need to cut it to length. So I marked it with a pencil and used my knife again. I added some glue and fixed it into position and did exactly the same on the other side. This is going to be the bottom of our boat and this is the top. And to finish the top I'm going to add a small amount more glue and stick on these last two bits. When it's all dry it should look like this. And that's the main structure of our boat complete. I'm using my knife to tidy up any edges and shape the wood a bit. If you're trying this, do be careful not to cut yourself. I'm also shaping the front into more of a boat shape with a pointy bow. I streamlined the sticks underneath a bit and smoothed it all with some sandpaper. It's quite a fun and rewarding process. And when you're done, it looks like this. To make the paddle, you need to cut another stick slightly shorter than the gap in the boat. And cut another one exactly the same length. Then line them up and I'm pinching mine together in a vise because we need to cut a groove straight down the centre, just over halfway down the sticks. Clean up the groove a little and they should look like this. Then shape the end a bit more with your knife and smooth off any rough edges. When you've done this with both of them, they're ready to slot together. If you need to adjust the length at all, you can smooth it out with some sandpaper. Next we need to fit our rubber band. So thread it through the hole here, then straight over and through the hole on the other side. Then I'm hooking each end of the rubber band over the back corners of the boat. And we're now ready to fit the paddle. Just open up the bands and slide it in between like this. And that's our homemade paddle boat complete. Pretty cool, huh? The idea is you wind up the elastic band by turning the paddle, then drop it in the water and off it goes. So let's give it a try. I filled up the bath and wound up the boat. When I put it in the water, it shot off but didn't go for very long. I tried it again and got the same results. So this time I tried winding up the band with a lot more turns. This made a real difference. The boat goes for a lot longer and it's really quite quick. And if you line it up with the edge of the bath, it even goes round the corner. This would be a great fun project to make with kids. You could try using it in a paddling pool or maybe... Okay guys. Understood? Yes, Shishti, you have a question. Sanvi, have some question. You're on mute. Okay, you're giving me thumbs up. Who's going to try this? 
I'm okay, gonna try, attempt try, try to try to this. I have a perfect idea. To, you got a perfect idea. So I'm really excited to see your boards. I have a perfect idea too. Good. I'm really excited to see your boards. Okay. You can choose uh, like different materials. It, it was just an idea. Think of your own, something of your own. Okay. You can make, if you want to make the same boat, it's okay. I'm fine with that. Right. Okay. But I need a commitment guys that you guys will make a boat. Pedal okay. boat. A promise? I know what to do. I'm only going to copy a few steps of his. Okay. Me too. Okay. Good job, guys. So, how did you like today's class? Good. Good. Okay, and how Good. Class? What? How do we end our class? How do we end our class? No. And a patient. Yeah. So, sit straight. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Bye bye. Remember to make both the next class and also remember all about bio -NC and propulsion. Okay. We'll be waiting to see all your boats. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. We have to do the